for the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Pisces in the recent past, so we've got the Magician and it's with the Two of Cups. Now, the Magician is the card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It's a card that reminds us that we've got the power to make a difference in our lives and in so many other areas if we simply try. So this is actual transformation. So just know that you would have not had it all handed to you on a plate in the recent past, but you had the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you did the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, You'll get nothing, and if you don't know what to do, then it would have been important for you to just do something because anything would have been better than nothing. In other words, if you didn't try, you didn't get. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which refers to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. It means that, well, yeah, the Two of Cups, it means that Things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So in the recent past, Magician and Two of Cups is basically showing that there was a very romantic love that you had with someone. It was a partnership. It could have moved to the next level, marriage, proposal. It was a harmony, it was a union, it was a deep connection. It could have been a soulmate. It could have been a twin flame. Because the Two of Cups is the ideal partner. It's a true love. It's very balanced, it's, it's commitment. It's all the things that we hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So, because the magician is paired with this card, it looks like you or your person man manifested this connection because the magician card is all about having manifestation powers. So, was it you, Pisces, or your person that manifested this connection? Now that's the recent past. Now let's take a look at the present time. Coming up in August, we got the Devil card and Justice. So with Devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. So first things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to it on your own. It's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions that hold you back anytime you choose to do so. With the devil card, you could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life, and sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action. Whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being, in, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice of what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps, they're important. Now, the devil card is with justice. Now, justice, it deals with the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes... We can be called on to deal with the results of the action of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now when you get justice, if you're involved in a court case or something like that, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So for the present time, devil and justice. So the cards are basically showing that you could be dealing with someone that has addictions. Now, addictions could be greed, it could be envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, alcoholism, drug abuse, uh, 
or some just some type of devil, unhealthy devil energy. This could be your person from the recent past, because the recent past could actually be a week ago, it could be a month ago, three months ago, or, or more, or six months ago. I'm picking up it's this person from the recent past, but maybe not, but that's what I'm getting. This is this soulmate or twin flame that uh, you manifested. Uh, you find out that this person has some really bad habits. And because with a justice card, they feel they have the right to do so. They don't see anything wrong with it. They're trying to figure out what's the problem. So, they think it's okay to um, have sexual lust. They think it's okay to be addicted to alcohol. Uh, they think it's okay to be a troll. That's devil energy. That's one type of devil energy. Um, just some very bad habits that they got, and they don't see anything wrong with it. Some addictions. So, when per when a person doesn't see anything wrong with with it, then that can be uh, difficult connection because they're thinking well, what what do you want me to fix when it's not broken <laughs> why why change something why fix something if it's not broken so let's see what the challenge is going to be we have the three of swords and it's with the seven of swords the three of swords it's showing an element of sorrow which is undeniable when you get this card but what's on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy so make sure you fully embrace or experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now this way you can move past it this kind of points to it could point to some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on if you deny it it will not make it go away so allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up this way you can move past it, but don't wallow in it. Don't wallow in sorrow, sadness, or or heartbreak. Because if you stay stuck there, you could stay stuck there if you if you wallow in it. You could wake up every morning thinking this is the new normal, and it's not. So you do not, and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. But you're the only one who can who can decide how long is long enough, and others will not be able to do it for you. Now, the Three of Swords is with the Seven of Swords, which can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. So it could sometimes mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense someone is spying on you, then you're probably right. If you're attempting to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern. You just might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy. So your challenge, Pisces, three of swords and seven of swords. We got heartbreak here with the three of swords. Relationship difficulty. Rejection and shutting each other out. So it looks like It looks like there could have been a, a blow up because your person uh, has some very bad habits that you could be having a hard time dealing with and like I said they don't see the problem they don't get it so there's now there's a they're shut you two are shutting each other out someone feels rejected so you might have, um, you, you might be walking away, Pisces, because with the Seven of Swords here, your person, they're, they're watching you, look like they could be keeping tabs on you now, they see that you, you could be leaving, um, 
you find this to be you find a connection to be different you find this soulmate that you manifested um you find it not to be you find it to be too too challenging because they got issues and problems that they don't deal with they have addictions and they see that you're walking away probably or you could be thinking about it and they see that you're sh you're shutting them out they feel rejected so they're keeping tabs on you with the seven of swords so this person's they might start to stalk you because that's what the Seven, so seven of Swords is about. They'll be keeping tabs on you. This, this person is uh, heartbroken. They don't see anything wrong with having some type of bad addictions. Now, the outcome. You got the Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life in general, maybe a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either, because this could ruin the very thing that you want the most. Such as close intimate relationships with your friends, your lovers. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. Five of Swords is with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is about finding new beginnings on several levels. And they're very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well and uh, you could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or it could be personally. Or it could go either way could be both. It's a really good thing, the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see the card, but it's really cute. It's like, you see this card below the word outcome? It, there's a squirrel. He's sitting or just standing next to this huge pinnacle in the forest or in a park. It has a lot of trees and grass. And it looks like it could have rained for maybe two or three days, just nonstop. They finally stopped the rain, and the squirrel—he's finally come out, come out from hiding from the rain, and he's just at an awe. He's amazed. Wow! Finally stopped. We got a new day now. I can put my footprints. I can run them. I can run some new footprints to the right. I can run some footprints to the left, or should I run my? footprints my new makes a new footprints going up up the tree or should I just run into the camera yeah really cute card it's all about a new day a new beginning so the outcome this ace of Pentacles and the five of swords like I said your person They're heartbroken because they see that you could be moving on. And they, they watch you. They watch you leave. And they're not happy because the Five of Swords is somebody's angry. That you, this person's angry you chose to move on. Or they see that you're thinking about it. There's no cards in here that's showing that you, you're actually walking away. But they, So let's put it this way. They see that you could be thinking about leaving this ideal, romantic, soulmate, twin flame connection. They see that you're, um, yeah, you can't deal with their issues and that you're looking for a new beginning you're looking for a new day 
a new love or just a fresh new start and they feel it and your person's not happy because this is the two of cups here we're talking about they feel a deep connection with you just as much as you feel with them so they don't get it especially they don't get it um, when they can't even see what's what the problem is because they don't even realize that they have addictions <laughs> 